Hello everyone, I hope you have a great day. I know I am, because today we're talking about some predecessor. Again, I was gone for a while, now I'm back for a while. But you guys don't care about that, you guys care about that. We've got some, a little bit of news about updates for the game, uh, in the form of a blog post, and a nice little infographic here. Um, <clears throat> a little late to the party, uh, as you can see, uh, about a month and a half late. But, I am at the party, we did make it, fashionably late, you could say. Uh, as well as the stress test that came out uh, around this time, a little earlier, I think. Or no, it might have been right around this time. Uh, I got to play that. That was, I think it went pretty well compared to the other one. Uh, at least it worked well for me and my friend who played. Uh, but either way, we're here to talk about this great new Road to Early Access. We love to see this. We like roadmaps. Roadmaps are great. A um, few things, new heroes, console, UI overhaul, and then some smaller features and improvements. Um... Great to hear. Let's get into it. They've got some more descriptions here about some of the stuff they've got. So first off, item systems. Um, obviously, MOBAs, items, very important to have them be balanced and have them be fun to use and have meaning. Uh, one of the problems, I feel like Paragon could never really get their item systems down super well. In the very beginning, it was super basic. Nothing really did anything special. There was no incredible like item passives they will just give you better stats essentially um and then they moved into kind of some some more passive specific abilities but it was a very strange item system towards the end of paragon's life uh, and i think they didn't you know no need to reinvent the wheel here with the early stages of predecessor they've got they've got items you build into them like you do any other moba and then they've got some cool passives and so basically they're just saying they're going to keep working on it and they're going to keep making some of those more interesting items like galaxy dreams and um, some other stuff like that. Looks like they're, as well, going to be doing some stuff with the HUD for the building, your uh, your items, or whatever. So that's good to hear. Uh, projectiles, yeah, projectiles did feel a bit weird. So one thing they're doing here is they're just totally, like, reworking or refactoring projectiles. Um, they said they couldn't find the sweet spot, which I think is fair. Yeah, Murdoch and Drongo were definitely good in that stress test, that recent stress test. But I think, yeah, I barely even played against any phase. Uh, Gideon's, I think they were able to come through a little bit because of just their, his ability is still pretty good. But he didn't feel as good as he normally did. And maybe that's okay, but I don't know if that's what, exactly what they were going for. Uh, either way, I mean, it's just good to see that they're taking feedback from the stress test, right? They put out like surveys and stuff. Uh, it's good to see that they're using that feedback in the form of, you know, giving us this little blog post. Uh, another one is user interface. Personally, I did not really even notice the interface. I was much more focused on, like, how the game felt and played and the items that were in it and, like, how they did that and the abilities and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, the user, inter user interface and anything, you know, can always be more polished and get more work, especially in a game that's uh, kind of early in development like this. So it looks like this is a sneak peek, or uh, you can see it's a work in progress of what they're planning to do. Um, we'll see. Well, I, we'll let them get a final product out. I'm sure they'll make another blog post about that, like they did the main menu UI, which we did get much earlier. Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was, but that was a while ago. We got a main menu uh, user interface change that made it a little more polished, which looks great. And then they used that as well for the stress test. Um, yeah, so this you know, definitely will take. Obviously, polishing up a UI is always nice. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so some positive feedback with how well optimized and perform performant the game is. More besides the HUD was the heaviest part of the game. So yeah, so it looks like they're trying to make the HUD a little more um, performance-based maybe as well. So we'll see what they do with that. Uh, they're pretty, it looks like they're still pretty early in like switching it around and HUDs can just change like that in a snap because... It's just, you know, there's just so much you can do and it's such a, it's a lot of design choices and mixed with like some performance choices. So we'll just see what they do. Um, console, uh, pretty much every time someone asks about console, they say, is it going to be on console? They say this exact phrase, but like not necessarily with the later this year part, but they'll, they'll just say, oh yeah, content development or console development's underway. Of course it is. Um, and I don't doubt it, but I wouldn't, you know, it's probably not on their top priority. You want to get the game working for PC first. It's easiest to put out the stress tests on PC. It's just a better platform to work with. So I would not be surprised if they end up dropping. I mean, it is on the roadmap to early access. 
So I'm guessing they're hinting that they're going to drop early access on console and PC. I guess. And then they've got stay tuned for more later this year. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we can really take away from that. If that's just going to be another update or maybe we get some console gameplay perhaps, or maybe they do a stress test on console. I don't know. This is obviously very little information. This is about as much information as they always give us about console. So I guess we will have to stay tuned for more later this year to actually see what they mean by that. Uh, but yeah, it's very possible that the early access will drop of console, which would be very exciting because I know a lot of players only play on console and it's nice to have that access as well. So, and then audio, you know, another kind of just very blanket statement. Oh yeah, we're working on audio, making sure everything sounds nice and menu music, whatnot, which is, you know, just nice to hear. Camera angles, for sure. I definitely noticed there were some weird camera angles, mainly during like the ability part, if that makes sense. So like whenever you have your ability ready and you're about to use it, some of those camera angles felt very wonky. Uh, so hopefully they're kind of fixing those up and just general camera angles with their actual heroes as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, another nice thing to see. Uh, onboarding looks like they're just going to add some more hints and tip, hints and tips to help new players, you know, a little more beginner friendly. That's nice to see, I guess. It's not really, you know, anything huge. Personally, I think at this point in the game, anyone that's going to be playing this early access or any of these stress tests are going to be fans of the game. So mm, not like super necessary, but like you never know because it is a different game right and obviously it's going to have different mechanics and it's going to have different like shop systems and item systems and stuff like that so i have no problem with that that's a a good thing to add uh definitely something that they're getting ready for early access um what i will say about this is i think this could be i don't think they made it intentionally but i think they are actually hinting that the early access will be totally free uh, because in Paragon and in a lot of early access games, you have to like buy it or you have to buy like a founder's pack for like $15, $20. And then there's different tiers where you can get different stuff. Um, so I think it is just going to be free outright. Could be wrong about that. Who knows? But if they're adding beginner tips, I feel like they're trying to make it very accessible so that anybody who sees it and is like, oh, this is an early access, like whatever, I'll just play it and try it. Obviously, the game itself, when it releases, it's supposed to be free to play. But sometimes they do do the paywalls for early access just to like get more funding and this and that, whatever. Uh, matchmaking rating. So they're making MMR uh, and um, a competitive playlist, I'm guessing, which is interesting. Obviously, it's a MOBA, so it's going to have competitive eventually. That's interesting they put it on the <clears throat> early access roadmap, though. I guess early access is going to drop with... A competitive playlist that's interesting paragon never even got one they had that blanked out tab is the farthest they got and then it died um as in any like early game even just in fully released games in their early parts of competitive it's really hard to get a good ranking system in place just because everyone is not necessarily new but everyone is starting from the same spot right like no one is like higher or lower so it's probably going to take a while for that to shake out. I don't know how well that's going to end up being in the actual early access. But, I mean, whatever. It's ranked. It's something to see. It's something to play. A little something to strive for. Maybe they'll do seasonal rewards for your for the ranks. Maybe that's what they're kind of hinting to. That would be interesting. But I don't see anything about cosmetics here. And I do feel like, like there's no skins or anything like that yet. There is a mastery, though. Or they hinted to the fact that there would be a mastery in the um, in the stress test. So... I don't know, but I have not seen anything about um, cosmetics here. So I really doubt there's going to be any kind of rewards for that. Uh, not for a little bit, at least. Uh, new heroes. Obviously, they're going to keep bringing in the old cast. And it looks like they've got a new hero that they're working up here. It's Huntress. She's a vampire hunter. Not really a lot to go off here. Obviously, she's going to be arranged. They're dropping the crossbow. I'll have another video on that later about some speculations about what Huntress might do. Uh, and then this at the end, just a little summary. Uh, actually, there is something big here. So they say right here, Stress Test Weekend was only a small taste of what they have to offer. So that means that they've got other stuff in development. It could be some of the stuff we see here, but they've got other stuff in development that they were just saving to release until early access. I'm guessing that's more heroes, and I'm guessing that's maybe more items. That actually could be, I'm just thinking about this now, that actually could be, it could be cosmetics, actually. I don't know. That's a very blanket statement that could cover just about anything. So 
Not really sure if that means, you know, it could pretty much be anything. It could be heroes, it could be a map, it could be map changes, it could be all kinds of stuff. Either way, this is a good, this is a fun roadmap. This is good to see. I'm glad, I'm glad we got this because one, it shows they're actually talking about early access. Predecessor is, it's, a, it's good, but they don't do the best job in like really letting us know an actual timeline, obviously, because you never know even as a developer, when things are going to work out and when things are going to release. So I don't necessarily blame them for that lack of information, but it's just good to see it, finally. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you made it this far, like and subscribe. Um, yeah, have a great day.